call a tray bake the sleazy lazy cousin of a single pot wonder. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as we take orange, rosemary, infuse it with sea bass for a fantastic tray bake. It's all in the marination, so the rind of one orange going in along with the juice of one orange. Just give it a breakdown so that the rind infuses with the orange juice and add nearly about 20 ml of olive oil. We're going to mix this up and just season it with some Chezwan peppercorn sea salt. A quick whisk and into this goes nearly 3 tablespoons of curly parsley. You want that earthiness to come together really well. A kg of sea bass fillets going in. A quick dabble once or twice. Lift it up and straight on the tray they go. Any leftover marinade should never be discarded. So into that goes in nearly 150 grams of these yellow pearl tomatoes along with 150 grams of these gorgeous little beautiful red tomatoes or the baby tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. About 15 cloves of garlic whole, keeping it as rustic as possible. A sprinkle of Chezwan peppercorn salt again and it's time just to toss this entire creation up. Scatter these right in between the fish fillets and watch the play of colours. The last part of that sheer marination gets four potatoes quartered and parboiled for about six minutes till they hold its own. We're just going to toss it up with all that last bit of marinade and put it in the tray. Space it out a bit so that it's even distribution and it's all about making this look really very pretty. Now I'm just playing around here but I need this to have flavours that are really sharp so about 6 rosemary sprigs from my garden just go on top of the fish fillets so that they scent it and give out that subtle indulgence through and through. A final sprinkle of some Chezwan peppercorn salt on top just to balance everything out and it's time to put this into a preheated oven. At 180 degrees Celsius for just about 20 minutes. Now ain't this the true lazy cousin of the single pot? With the fish perfectly baked, the tomatoes nicely blistered and the pan juices that centric centric flavour coming together, this is ready to be garnished. This requires a fun fun garnish which elevates this to the next level and toasted coconut flakes nearly 3 tablespoons along with 2 tablespoons of nigella seeds or onion seeds forms that perfect hearty crust on top. Scattering this on top of the fish while it's still hot enables it to cook with the residual heat giving it that additional boost of flavour right through and through. Some more zing is needed so orange wedges nestle in between for this elegant tray bake. You can garnish this with an overload of some herbs or like me I've managed to get my hands on some blue pea flowers just to add in between. Now this gives that sweetness speckled through and through bringing out the colour of this dish and living up to a lazy tray bake but stylish and elegant. I call this elegance on a tray. It's all about getting eccentric flavours coming together creating a simple tray bake but living up to that easy cooking or rather lazy cooking. I hope you enjoyed creating this one with me, simple yet stylish. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed and don't forget to leave a comment below.